Okay, this is uh, How to Use the Coffee Maker by Luke Haythorpe. G'day. Welcome to the River's Kitchen. You're going to find these big coffee uh, jug thingies in here. My coffee. One's my water, but we don't want to talk about water right now. First thing to do, we turn our attention to the bun. Not this bun, this bun. <laughs> so we're actually going to reach behind here, this little switch, you just turn it on. The machine is now on. Are we heating water right now? So we're not yet. See, it says tank not full of water. So we want to press this, and it's going to start filling the tank. And then it's going to start heating the tank. That in the moment, the temperature is 69. It needs to get to a full 200 degrees Celsius for it to be an effective pot of coffee. 200 Celsius? 200 Fahrenheit. Okay. Fahrenheit. He's from Australia. That's be too hot. <laughs> Kill yourself. 100 uh, so Celsius. What, what I like to do when I'm waiting for it to heat up, I'll just pull this out and check. Oh, it's clean. We want it to be clean. So what we want to do, we get a filter, which you'll usually find down here. One of these big things that look like a hat. It's actually not a hat, it's a coffee filter. So just put it in here like so. Usually I like to wash my hands, but I didn't on this occasion. It's boiling water, it's clean. It's boiling, it's at 71, so it takes a good 15 to 20 minutes to get hot. Now, you want to put the coffee, which you'll find behind you in the 15 fridge. 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes. 15 minutes before you want coffee. So usually you want to switch it on when you kind of get in, or else you're going to be really frustrated. So in here you'll find um, the coffee, which is actually reserved for Sunday mornings, I've heard. But usually, like, sometimes I'll steal it. Don't tell anyone I said that. But usually I bring in my own coffee. And you want to put in a full scoop for half and two scoops for a whole um, jug full thing, whatever you call it. Now, once it's full, you put in the thing with the coffee. I didn't put it in here. No, you put it in like this. Imagine there's two full scoops, scoops of coffee. I would actually press full. See that thing here? And then I'd do brew A. I would put this in like so. Just make sure it's like rests fully against there. And you'd, you'd leave this thing in here? Yeah, you can take it out or you can leave it in. It makes no difference. Okay. For we'll the go. skilled one, you leave it in because you, you, you're good at aiming it up. You're, you're good like, at aiming it up, centralizing that's it. That's pretty dang good. So then you'd actually, now that it's in, you've got two scoops in here for full, you wanna, you wanna one for sure half. There's a, there's a little cradle here at the bot, at the base. You want to yeah. cradle that cradle, pot. Cradles in Cradle like right in mm. like mm -hmm. that. The baby yeah. in the cradle. Cradle, and then you gotta aim it so it, it yeah. hits so it. So it, it right? naturally aims when you put it in the cradle. Okay. So now that's in, imagine we've got two scoops for full. Um, we would press the full, and then if we were ready to brew, when it was 200, it's not, it's 87 right now, we'd press brew A, and it would brew. If you're doing half a pot, which is common if you've got, you know, maybe five to ten people and, you know, you don't want to make too much coffee. You don't want to waste it. We don't want to get into wasting here at the river. We like to keep things, um, we like to use things to the full potential. So what we would do is switch it over to half and you just do brewet as well. Okay. You can get and crazy and put in more coffee. How much like really does a full um, tank? So full it says it's 18 tank. cups. But you probably can translate that to more about 14 to 15 people. 14 people. If okay. they're really tired and haggard and it's Friday night and people are over it, then you probably, you know, be enough for six people. <laughs> so, you know, so, you know yeah. what I'm yeah. So, there. And so after it's used, after it's brewed, after you've finished, um, you can switch off the, the coffee machine. But when you do, you actually need to clean it to be loving. See, the last person that used it, they cleaned it, so you just want to make sure we clean, rinse out the coffee makers, and then stand them upside down to drain out. Um, and make sure we pull this out. You don't need to use soap, you can just pull this out like so, dump it in the bin, and then just rinse it out. And then start over. That's how you do it. Okay. Any questions, feel free to email Angela. If I hit this button before it's at the 200 degrees, what will happen? If I, I hit brew now, it would explode. 
Can but you give me a start it's, shooting water out? Not actually sure. Let's see. Let's test And it. what about hot water, Luke? Do you know anything about that? Oh, so hot water, the same instructions, except you don't put any coffee in here. You just, okay. It is shooting so, water down right now. So you can't it's use not, that actually, red... It's not working. Because this is not in I know. I don't want that. It's just, okay. The point is... If it's not 200 degrees here, you're going to get cold yeah. water. Oh, out. you could still make. Yeah. You're going to make water. We're going to make coffee yeah. with cold water. Is what you're yes. going to do. That's and what I does mean. it automatically stop at 200 degrees, or? It's not um, going to get any hotter. Yeah, I think it stops at 200. Okay. Yeah. And now, can you use this red spigot for hot water if you needed it, or? Um, I have no idea. Probably, huh? if you want a glass. I don't know. Should I try? Yeah, you can do it now. Ah, the pain. I think you could do it now. Yeah, I think you could. Here, you gotta. made a mess in here. Oh, there you go. So if you just need. It's cold. It's probably the same. It's the same water. Temperature. It's the this. same as that. So. Okay. Great. So it doesn't have a special heating unit. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Luke. You're welcome. Thank you, Angela. <laughs>